Welcome aboard the Malabar, the school ship. During the spring and fall, the vessel is used to teach students about the Great Lakes. But science is only a part-time job for the Malabar. Her summer is spent transporting tourists on Grand Traverse Bay. Because of the popularity of the school ship, plans are being made to build a new ship, solely dedicated to education. Right now we only run on here, we lease the time on this boat in the spring and the fall, but we can't do programs in the summer. And In the summer we hope to do programs with young people and also with teachers from all over Michigan. And uh, to do that we need our own boat. Major funding for the ship is coming from mid-Michigan in a matching grant from Dow Chemical in Midland. We think it's a unique program, a floating classroom, if you will, that teaches young people the importance of the ecology of the Great Lakes. Hopefully it will also stimulate them to pursue uh, science careers, which of course we have a very strong interest in. The science ship will be just a little smaller than its sister ship, the Malabar. Constructed mostly of wood, it will have a steel hull and be 61 feet long. Its equipment will be the same with the addition of some solar and wind generating equipment. The ship will eventually tour the lakes, visiting many port cities around Michigan. That means more students will be able to visit her. Programs will also be extended with some high school and college students living aboard for a week. Sponsorship of the vessel is important to Dow. The USA is behind other nations in science education and the pool of scientists to work at corporations like Dow is limited. The ship promises to put fun into learning about science. One of the things that we have found over the years is that the way science is taught in the classrooms, it can very often be dull and boring and uninteresting. So what we've tried to do is creatively come up with ways of encouraging teachers, uh, especially, to come up with ways of teaching science in the classroom that will turn young people on. And one of the ways of doing it is to look for unique uh, opportunities in this floating class Room, which gives young people an opportunity to, in a hands-on way, learn about the Great Lakes and the importance of preserving and protecting them, an opportunity to do that. The Inland Seas Education Association is now busy fundraising. They need to raise over $200,000 to match Dow's grant. Construction should begin this winter, and the new ship could begin her mission in the spring of 93. On Grand Traverse Bay, this is Rick Mixter for Take 5. And between our school in Flint with its exotic pets and these uh, youngsters out at sea learning a lot of innovative ways to teach our youngsters today that we didn't have when we were younger, Isn't right? That neat? Yeah, that really is. That was the last in that series yeah. by Rick Mixer on the Good Ship Malabar. Thanks a lot, Rick Great Mixer. Job. By the way, you're going to read Mick, uh, meet Rick. You're going to read Mick. You're going to meet <laughs> Rick tonight at seven on our special Take Five show.